Hi there, good morning. Happy Thursday. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. Welcome to 30 minutes of my day. I'm just going to work on my own journal for a little while today. Actually, I think I need to adjust my phone. <laughs> Hold on. Let's hope I don't turn you off or disconnect us. But I can't see. Oh, hi, Rita. Um, when I can't see what's in my screen, we run a greater risk of me just completely messing up altogether. <laughs> now, I need to set my timer. Hold on. So I don't talk too much. I get cut off. <sighs> hey, Google, I want to set a timer. For 28 minutes. 428 minutes. Oh, come on. 7.133 hours. No. You don't want 428 minutes. Oh. Ah. I was not cut out for this. Oh, I'm going to pause you. Hold on. All right, I did it without chucking my phone out the window. I did it. All right, um, where were we? Oh, we're working on the cover of my own journal. Get these out of the way. <coughs> Yesterday I was toying with the idea of um, putting Leonardo's Vitruvian Man behind her. And then I toyed with the idea of using the wings from the uh, Angel of Grief behind her. And then I just kept hunting because uh, butterfly wings just seemed too, too expected, I guess. I wanted something a little... Frida was always unexpected. So, you know, nobody won't. I shouldn't say nobody wants to be predictable. Some people find great comfort in being predictable. But I um, I don't want predictable. And I found what I'm going to use. So bye-bye, Leonardo. We'll use you on something else. Um, I found some wings for Frida. And she drew them herself. So in the back of this book, I went through it again. And uh, they had some artwork. Believe it or not, this is Frida's artwork. In fact, apparently these are the last two pages in her art journal. And uh, their theory is she was back to being bedridden. And um, heavily on painkillers and still heavily washing them down with alcohol so um, her artwork she still was wanting to express everything inside and then put it out there um, and this is this is how it came out and I mean there's an angel right there maybe it's her on her way remember when she said I hope the leaving what is it? I hope the leaving is wonderful and I hope never to return. Something like that. I'm paraphrasing. But I'm going to give Frida uh, her own wings. So let's get this out of here and let's start playing with it. That's the plan. Now these wings may still, my little book, uh, trying to find something that fits my little book. But we will, we will do it. So there we go. Frida, you will have your wings. Oh, I know I should be working on those other books, but <coughs> pardon me. Um, I have so much paperwork to do, and it really paperwork and numbers drag me down <laughs> not a number person I'm not a math person um, so I put it off whenever I can and I can't put this off 
So I figured my artwork um, should be something that gives me pleasure for this brief little time that I will be. See, the wings are still running off the edge, but I'm going to do my best. Now, I'm trying to decide if I want to tear the edge on these. I don't think I want a cut edge. I do think I want them rough. And I'm wondering if I want to do a um, controlled tear. That's when you can still use your tear edge ruler and it just gives you something to work against. And then I've got to decide, do I want, do I want the core? See, when you tear paper, if you tear in one direction, one side exposes the paper core. Do you see that? And one side, there's no paper core showing. And there seems to be three schools of thought on the exposure of the paper core. <laughs> some people hate it uh, some people don't care one way or the other like both and some people uh, some people prefer it and I am one of those ones I rather enjoy the paper core because especially with paper that's shiny like this this will accept any kind of um, distress ink watercolor pencil, charcoal pencil, um, gilding wax would go on, would go on this side anyways. Um, but I'm leaning towards, I'm leaning towards, um, yeah, I'm leaning towards having it show. So see how, I hope I'm in, yes I am. See how I'm turning it so it gives me um, something firm to control the tear. So I can just get those wings. Have you ever tried to do a tear and then you, it just gets away from you? And then this special wonderful thing that you were so looking forward to using and it's ruined. So, and, and yet other times, um, a controlled tear may be way too controlled for what you like. You really do want that natural look of uh, where a tear will just go all on its own. For now, I'm tearing around the little face of this angel here. but I don't think I'll be using it, but I don't want to, I don't want to lose my options right now. So just move your ruler around. I have a haircut appointment today. I'm so excited. Oh, I haven't had my hair cut in a year and a half. And, uh, it's down my back and it is, I have very thick hair, which is a blessing and a curse. Those of you who have thick hair, you know what I mean. I, you know, you, it's nice to have thick hair, but on the other hand, um, it, it takes a long time to dry. And if it's long, the weight of it can actually hurt your scalp. And I'm at that point. My scalp is sore from this long hair hanging off my head. Now I'm trying to do something here. I don't know whether her artwork got cut off or whether the publisher cut that off, but I'm trying to give myself as much room for those angel wings as I can. So, and sometimes it's hard to grip such a tiny little piece of paper. And this is where give yourself sort of little tiny fingers. Use your tweezers. And just get in there and 
and tear. There we go. Let's go over a bit. Let's pull the tear over. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, let's get these out of here. I am um, saving myself options. This may, I may still trim this down. All right, so wings. The, uh, the maple sap is running up here in Ontario. So that's a good sign of spring. There we go. Let's take that off. So yeah, I'm going to, gee, I'm all over this place um, with my conversation. Oh, I'm tearing it the wrong way. I don't have my white there. Wrong way, Catherine. This way. Um, so I've decided while I work on the detested paperwork, um, if I find time for artwork, um, I'm going to make it my artwork. So I may be a week or so um, dealing with all this paper. Let's get that out of there. Um, so be it. Um, same with if I go missing for a few days, it's because I'm <laughs> up to my eyeballs in paper. <laughs> Turn it the wrong way again. Okay, let's see if I can freehand this. There. There. We're going to be 30 minutes at Catherine tearing out some wings. <laughs> oh well. It's another nice day here, sunny and it's trying to be warm, but I don't trust it. Okay. All right. Now, let's see what we can do with this and see if I like it. All that work, I may very well end up saying, nah, I don't like it. <laughs> let's see. So I think the angel's head is going to have to come off. That's all right. And I may move the wings in a bit. That way they will fit. Because if I bring that wing in there, like that, that side, and then I can bring that wing in there, like that, um, I think that'll work. All right, let's just let's just take this angel out of here. Sorry, I'm off camera. Let's take this out of here. There's a wing, one of Frida's wings. 
and there's another wing. I want to just get in here a little closer. Get those feathers. Okay, so now if I put Frida here, then her one wing can go there and her other wing. Yes. I like that. And she gave herself such a cool hairdo in here. I'm just wondering, or maybe I'll just put more gold up there. I want her head to be more evident, uh, the top of her head. Her black hair is is melting into the background, but that looks, you know, I thought maybe I'd give her the angel hairdo she gave herself, if that's for, if that's a self-portrait. Who knows? She could be imagining her mother coming to get her. Maybe her mother was. Maybe I should just put a little bit more gold um, up there. That I like. Now I've got to decide whether I like, um, I think I want to go with walnut around the edge there. So let's pull this out. I just want this to be still a little bit more rough. I want to use, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> Distressing. And um, the glossy paper is going to not want the distress ink that I want. So I'm just getting that edge a little rougher. All right, and I'm going to go in, I want that nice dark, nice dark walnut. Maybe this way. Well, yes. Okay. I'm going all around the edge anyhow. And I think I may cover up the white. Not with walnut. But I might go in with antique linen. There, that looks good. See how I sort of camouflaged where this wing got a little clipped? All right, where's your other wing, Frida? Do a bit of both here. Now I think this is still going to be underneath her, but I don't want to take a chance and glue it down and then have it showing and trying to cover up that white. The white just glares at me. I don't I'm not enjoying it. So I may 
these little um, antique ones and just what this will do is just cover up that white, tone it down a bit. It's just ever so subtle, the antique linen. It's hard to get aggressive with it because it's just so pale, but sometimes that's all you want, right? There, that looks nice. Now, um, the terrifying gelding wax. Shall we? Yes. Where did I put you? Where did I put you? Oh, there you are. Now, how am I for time? Oh, seven minutes. All right. All right, we can do it. We can do it. Now, um, let's take a look again. So, let's give you your wings, Frida. That one there. Maybe I'm going to have to run her wing around the edge because I really love all the color here on this wing and I don't want to miss out on it. Put her. That looks nice. Put her wing down a little bit. There. Yes. Okay. Hmm. All right, I'm going to pause for a second because I, I need some thinking time and I don't want to waste my recording time with my thinking time. So hold on. Hi, I'm back. So hold on. Let me restart this because I have eight minutes so I glued her wings on so she now has she's all one piece so that makes it a little bit easier to work with and figure out where I want to where I want to put her and I do think I want her there like that and I want a bit of gold around especially around her head <coughs> Trying to decide if I want any around her legs, but I don't think so. I think that would draw the attention down, and I don't necessarily want the attention drawn down. So I may cover up that square from Money's Worth so that I can put her a little more central on the page rather than have her head way up here. You know what I mean? But I don't necessarily want that red. Hmm. I like that. All right, I'm going to play with some. Whoa, -ho -ho. here we go. I'm going to round this off. And just make it a little glowy. And cross our fingers. They have such a love hate relationship with gilding wax. <laughs> now, hold on, am I in? I am. Let me stand up. I'm liking it, but I want more here. So that's not, it doesn't want to stick. I should have, um, I should have gessoed that. Well, let's take it off. The part that's on here that's not, um, look at that. See? Wax 
This doesn't want to stick to it. I should have either sanded it or gessoed it. And that doesn't mean I still can't. Because gesso will give it a little tooth. So I may still just go in there with a little bit of gesso. Uh-oh, I don't like when there's amber alerts. Okay. All right, I'm going to, let's take a look again. Yeah, I'm going to pause because I'm losing time. Hold on. Okay, I put a little gesso on it, and you can see where whatever was on it. I don't know whether it's a varnish. I should have sanded it. The gesso's on it now. Oh, not you again. All right, how much time have I got left? <laughs> Four minutes. Okay, cancel. Four minutes. Start. So what I'm going to do, I do this to myself every time. I'm down to the crunch time-wise. I This is dry. I'm going to give it another little layer of gesso. Mind you, that's holding pretty good. I think I'm going to put some... No, I don't need black paint over that. I'm going to, I think I'll try just the gilding wax again and see. Because the gilding wax did not want to grip. I went out yesterday actually to get black gesso. Michael's did. Michael's had a massive bucket of j black gesso. I don't need a massive bucket. Um, and Curry's, where I expected to find it, ah, oh, that's better. Curry's had none. So um, I'll have to do without for the time being. Okay, that's better. It's working now. Now, I gessoed the whole thing simply because I want the glue to adhere. I should have sanded it. Live and learn. Take that up a bit. Give her a nice halo. All right, wipe wipe. I knew I was looking for something. That's the red of the label that came off with the gesso. The gesso sort of liquefied it. All right, all right, lid on you because you're dangerous. And stand up, take a look. All right, let's see how you, I can't lay her down yet. That's better. All right, that's good, but of course it's 28 minutes. Maybe if I pause, because I want to give this wax a little time before I buff it, so I'm going to pause. All right, I'm getting down to the crunch. So what I did, <laughs> it's fighting me and I'm up for the task. Um, I actually sanded it a bit. I got my sanding block out and I went at it. Um, so let's try again with some gilding wax. I have, I have like two minutes. Two minutes. Let's see if we can finally get this book to say, oh yeah, I do like that gold. I had a talk with it while the camera was paused and I explained, look, I'm a mother. Don't argue with me on this. <laughs> we'll see. Us moms, we don't take that. Well, unless we're in the mood for being a pushover. And I do that sometimes too. Oh, it's staying good. See, what happened was I went to buff it a bit and get it right you know, worked into the book cover and it came right off. <laughs> so.
So that looks much better, although I, I want I want a puffy edge there. Puffy, is that the word? All right, all right, all right, let's see. We may have to oh, move you away. We may have to, I may have to take a picture and show you later. Let's see. There, that's what I was looking for. Oh, you're going to look awesome. There. Yes. Okay. All right, and it's 30 minutes. I'm sorry, I tried. I tried. It's going to have to be a surprise. That's all right. All right, I gotta go. I have a few things I need to get done, and then I've gotta go get uh, probably about nine inches cut off my hair. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Yes, <laughs> take care. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.